take into, the, into account the fact that he was a police officer and that this was some uh, abuse of authority. So I don't think that the top of the guidelines or any jail, quite frankly, <coughs> is warranted um, because of the situation here, because of the fact that he was a police officer. I think any other defendant standing before you with his background of not having any criminal history, having a full-time job, not having a substance abuse history, coming before you uh, with 0 to 11 guidelines would be placed on straight probation with no jail. And that's why we think that's appropriate here. Um, if the court is inclined to impose jail time, I think this is a, a perfect case where delaying the jail to the end of the probationary period would be appropriate. Uh, in essence, suspending the jail time to see how he does on probation. If he's exemplary, which I believe he will be on probation, then we would ask the court to suspend the jail time rather than place him in jail now, which makes him lose the full-time job that it was hard to find. Um, not only punishes him, but punishes his family, his children. And I, I don't think it serves any purpose other than to punish. And I, I think at this point in Mr. Kitt's life, he's, he's definitely being punished. Um, so if the court is inclined to do jail time, I would propose a suspended jail, uh, jail sentence, placing it at the end of any probationary period that you give him, so that he can prove himself um, that he's worthy of not being incarcerated. And we are asking you to do the probation with no jail this time. Thank you.